Today we're going to be looking at the LZ ZFH 1500 tactical flashlight holder. This is the thumb screw model in flat dark earth. And basically this flashlight holder hooks right into a standard A2 front sight. And you stick the flashlight in there and you can tighten it down. Uh, I got the thumb screw model because I plan on using my EDC light and not having a dedicated light just yet for this rifle. For the purpose of this video, um, we're going to be showing how to hook this light up, the M18 Striker. One of the good things about the M18 Striker is that they have a bunch of accessories for it at Olight. And what I did is I went on eBay and I got this pressure switch for the back of the light so I can put it on the handguard or figure out some other use for it. So let's we'll see how this goes, see how it works. We're going to begin by installing the mount on the A2 front sight here. Let's begin by clearing the rifle. Visually inspect the chamber. Nothing in there. No brass. Alright, so now that the rifle is clear, I'm going to take it. And actually, because the flashlight mount goes up here, I am going to have to remove my sling for this. This is actually uh, an additional sling attachment that came with the upper. The upper is uh, from Stag Arms. Um, and this is actually the one I do use. But let's take a look and see how it goes. The mount came with the two halves of the mount. Uh, basically plastic or polymer as we like to call it. Um, it comes with a thumb screw, simple instructions, and the necessary hardware for screwing the parts together and also the adapters for the flashlights. Now I have to drive out these pins holding in this additional uh, sling mount and I took my optic off for this. So I'm just using a 1 8 punch and I've also got my Glock punch just in case. So, here we go. That's one. I'll get that later. And where's the other one? I don't even need to take out the other one. The other one just uses, stays on as a hinge. That's nice. So, today I learned something new. I put the roll pin back in to this mount uh, just so I wouldn't lose it. So I'm going to keep this and this extra sling mount handy. All these extra parts makes me just want to build another AR. You guys ever have that problem? These adapters are not quite as straightforward as I thought they would be. They do fit easily enough into uh, one half of the mold here, but they do need to be clipped. Uh, you have to cut these ribs out, you have to remove these ribs, you have to snip these ribs out here in the middle to make more room or file them for your flashlight to fit. Uh, it's a little awkward so I'm going to do that off camera. Right now I'm determining where the flashlight should, should sit in these adapters. Um, I only have one of the adapters in now. So the instructions say you can mount it like this with the sling mount here to, to activate the tail switch. I'm going to use the pressure switch when I'm running this light, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I still kind of need to figure out where it's going to stick out. Uh, I thought maybe I could run the light deeper in here, but it's going to interfere with, back, uh, with the sling mount. So I'm going to see how this fits and trim it up. Apparently, they, I think they have a sling mount attachment for this. Um, so I'm, I'm going to look into getting that. Okay, so if you can see, I've got the new tail light switch mounted on there and it definitely impedes the sling mount if I have the light further back so okay so I think I've determined at the front of the mount here um, I'm gonna have the end of the knurling lined up with just about the front of the mount alright so for this O light I only did half um, this side if you can see I left the ribs in and this side I cut the ribs out um, I had a razor blade that wasn't working too hard, so I got the old pocket knife, and the part of the middle rib broke off. So I really think that they need to redesign this or come up with multiple adapters like you would for um, a tactical light, like the Streamlight TLR4 comes with multiple adapters for rails. I just think that this is them being lazy where you have this cheap piece of plastic and you have to cut it apart. But that's just my opinion. I mean, this thing was... $30 on eBay and I've seen it go as high as 40 online so I think for that kind of money they can give you two different adapters. Okay so let's see how this fits together now. 
is actually kind of loose, which is a little disappointing. Uh, they say you can file it down, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to. I'm going to tighten this down with the screws real quick, and we'll see how tight it is. And then I can always come back. I have some uh, fabric hockey tape that I may put around the inside of there. Comes with these little Allen bolts and nuts. Um, after I get everything fit on there, I'm going to put some blue Loctite on there. But for right now, I think it's good. So I'm actually going to start with the ones up top. I thought the both sides were even. They're not. This side is the bolt side. They both have that pattern. Get the tail cap off. Take the batteries off now. Might actually be tight enough. Um, I got the light in there without the tail cap or the battery. And I'm going to test fit. This is when a vice would come in handy. So it's interesting that it only comes with one thumb screw. So for these, what you need to do is run a blade or a knife through these little points to break off these thicker parts. And this is where it gets touchy. Trimmed them off, and we'll get it going. There's little tabs at the top that fit into. But they don't like to stay in there though, that's for sure. And now uh, yeah, it's entirely too loose for this flashlight. Okay, so I think it's fixed. I took some black hockey tape and wound it uh, around the inside of the adapter so that the flashlight's gonna ride like this on either side. I think that's kind of good too. I was a little worried about marring the finish of this flashlight. I know it's just a flashlight. But it's my everyday carry, and I look at it every day, and I kind of want to take care of it. But it's a tool, so if it gets messed up, it's not a big deal. But I'm kind of glad I got a little bit of a padding in here. And now, if I ever run a smaller light or a different light, I know I can just take some hockey tape and wrap the inside of these. And we're good to go. So let's install it and see how it works. Okay, so these are tightened down. I'm using the short side so I don't over torque it. That's actually in there pretty good. Okay, so I've got it installed with a thumb screw on this side. I think even if I take this out, it's still going to be in there pretty tight. So I'm going to see if I can adjust. So, only undo the thumb screw when you can see where it's going because that bolt's going to pop out right away. I'm really not going to take this light in and out that much, only if I go to the range or you know, there'll be some sort of emergency, otherwise I'm not going to run it with the light in there. It's going to be every day, so I don't think it's a big deal. So it's tightened out with a thumb screw, and that's in there. Let's attach the tail cap and get the batteries in there, and we'll see how this goes. Yeah, there's not much, really not much play there between the on and off with this thumb screw. Okay, so it's mounted on there. The switch works great. Just got to figure out a way to mount the switch to the handguard. But, so far so good. We'll see how it goes on the range. Okay, so after a little experimentation, um, I moved the thumb screw up here to the top. And it goes in nice and tight, keeps the flashlight in. But then when I want to back it out, I can just loosen it and then the flashlight comes out. So, it's better to have a tight screw down here and then the thumb screw up there. Cool. So guys, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. Keep standing up for what's right. And may God bless you. See you later.